Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here, and welcome to DCS World 2.9.0. I thought it was about time for me to do a little update on my benchmark video that I did previously for multi-threading, uh, now that we have DCS World 2.9 dropped in open beta. Uh, this new version of DCS includes a number of uh, new graphical features, including DLSS, FSR, and screen space shadows. Uh, these are all features that should improve performance for those of you with lower-end PCs, especially those where you're GPU-bound. Uh, for those of you who are CPU-bound, this probably won't make very much difference, uh, but it's, it's a good thing to dive into. So I recorded a little uh, track file, and I, I did <laughs> record one in 2.8.8 and in 2.9, and then I accidentally deleted the footage from 2.8.8, and I'm not going to roll back the sim, so I'll simply give you the results. Um, so 2.8.8, multi-threaded, in 2D with no FSR, because of course it's not implemented, uh, I was getting frames between 180, which is where it seems to peg. Uh, I wonder if there's actually a, a config file I can edit somewhere to remove that limit. Um, and it went as low as 135. Uh, but almost all of the time it was at 180, which is pretty good, I think. And that's in the previous version without any fanciness. Uh, now we can see that same scene in 2.9.0 with FSR and screen space shadows off. Uh, and we can actually see in this already uh, that the performance is already more consistent. It's really just bouncing, like the absolute lowest I saw was somewhere around about 160, but almost all of the time it's maxed out at 180 uh, and occasionally bounces down towards 170. Uh, and you can see that basically the whole time I'm CPU bound, you get the occasional flicker of a GPU band. Um, so this was a good performance. I think this already looks like a slight improvement in performance uh, based on the previous version. Uh, some really good figures here. And um, um, something to, to note is that, yes, I, I'm, I'm going to test FSR uh, because I have a, an AMD GPU and CPU. My specs, I won't read them all out, but they will be in the show notes below so you can see uh, what I'm running here. Uh, jumping on to the next video, uh, we have 2.9.0 with FSR, and uh, here we see that um, actually performance is almost identical once the, the sim kind of settles down. We're mostly bouncing between 180 and 160, however I have to say um, graphically I think it looks worse. Uh, I think this actually makes the sim look ugly. Now, uh, just so that you're aware, I used the default setting for scale, which was 0.66 in FSR, and I used a sharpening of 0.8. Uh, and for me, at least to my eye, I think this immediately looks worse. However, um, you may find that in some configurations, especially those configurations where you've been GPU bound, this will actually give you a bunch more frames. And um, so it's not doing me any good because I'm CPU bound. Uh, but I think for those of you who are GPU bound, if you can accept the slight reduction in quality, and of course if you're playing in VR, you're probably not even going to notice, uh, but if you're playing in 2D, you're going to see a slight reduction in visual quality. If you can accept that, I think this is going to deliver some extra performance for you. Uh, and I would argue that um, in flight simulators, you can kind of accept a reduction in visual quality as long as the simulation is smooth. I think. The simulation being smooth is almost more important than huge amounts of visual fidelity. Um, for those of you who have lower spec machines, this actually could be really good. And then next, uh, if I jump to the final video in the series, we have... Uh, this is FSR and screen space shadows. Uh, now, I found uh, that this actually generated a lot of artifacting in the shadows. Uh, you might see yourselves in a moment. I, I thought that it actually didn't look very good. Uh, of course, the you know, what I termed ugliness of FSR is still present. And, um, yeah, it looked a bit weird. But yeah, look down underneath the aircraft right now, and you'll see that the shadows and even there's like a strange kind of reflectivity. Uh, like the, like the, the shader for the water has been extended over the land, you'll see lots of weird kind of marbling on the ground. Uh, and the shadows themselves are kind of glitching and looking really, really weird. This was the effect I got with the same settings, so that was scale 0.66 and sharpening 0.8. I did find that if I bumped the scale to 0 
then these artifacts went away uh, with FSR. So it seems to be when the scale is set lower, you get, yeah, look at this looking really bad at the bottom right there. And in the shadows, there's just like some kind of bizarre triangle in the bottom of the screen now. I, I don't know what this is. I'm assuming this is not how it's supposed to look, but this is the result that I got. Uh, so for me anyway, turning screen space shadows on with FSR was an even further reduction in visual quality, and I thought it actually looked very bad, and we've got some artifact in it. Um, what I found, for me at least, is I got the best performance and visual uh, effect with FSR off, but with screen space shadows on. Uh, I found that screen space shadows without FSR actually look really, really good. Uh, I'm very, very happy with this feature. But for me at least, with my hardware, uh, FSR has been a bit of a, a nothing. So uh, that's... Uh, that's where I would leave that. That's the state of things in DCS 2.9. As always, your mileage may vary. Uh, it's definitely going to be the case that everybody's systems will behave a little bit differently. And of course, I'm just demonstrating FSR here. This is FSR 2, if I recall correctly. Um, ED have also implemented DLSS 3 for those of you with NVIDIA graphics cards. And I look forward to other people's adventures with those. So, I hope you all enjoyed that. Thank you very much indeed for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and comment. It's a really big help for me and for the channel. Also, if you'd like to further support the channel, you have the option of joining Deep Hacks Ground Crew. Big shout out to those of you who've already done so. Your names are on screen now. Thank you ever so much. There are some small benefits. You get to join Deep Hacks Ground Crew Discord server, and we're also looking at, uh, on occasion, doing flights together. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Ta-ta.